Hey everybody and welcome back. Uh, this is stop three of the Tackle Warehouse Invitational season at Lake Eufaula, Oklahoma. Uh, this event was a bit of a challenging one. Uh, this lake, you didn't get a lot of bites. You, the issue was not catching a quality fish, you was just catching five. The number of people that caught a limit three days in a row was was really low compared to a lot of our other events. So uh, this, was, this was a tricky one. It was a very low water time on a gravelly lake. So it was just not the most beautiful fish in the world. Uh, didn't In practice, it was very mentally challenging because you didn't have a mental release. Um, normally you have a mental release somewhere on the lake in practice where whenever things aren't going well, you can go spend a little time doing something that, that looks good or looks right. Even if you don't catch them, it, it, uh, it just kind of gets you refocused on, okay, you know, I, I got to, uh, fish something that looks, looks right for a little bit. And so I can go back to trying new things and, uh, didn't have that this week. It was a really, really mentally challenging practice. Probably the most mentally challenging practice I've ever had. Didn't get a lot of bites. So ended up figuring something out toward the end of practice and, uh, it, it, it panned out pretty well. So stay tuned guys. I hope you enjoy watching. I know where to start. Just start where you caught a big one. Just start with the big ones, dog. Alright, dude. Alright, dude. Just start with the bigs. Always, always start with the bigs. Alright, boss man, I'm gonna ease on out. If I don't see you in the mess, go catch him today, buddy. Boat number 64, got 
Bam. Bam, baby. Whew. Let's go. That fish bit, stuck her, she came off. Pitched right back in there and she bit it again. Thank goodness. It's a good one to start with. Five of those both days. We're gonna be sitting real pretty. Five of those both days and we're, it's not a both days anymore. Five of those both days and it's a trace days. Three of them, three of them. I love trace days on this pond. Because if I can do that for three days, it's gonna be a fun week. two. Whew. Got over six and a half pounds on two bass. That will do, my friend. That will do. Whew. Max scent skint worm. Getting it done. Gosh, this bait is good. No, it's not what we want to see. That's a little bit more like it. And guess what? It's a spotted dog. Yeah. Oh yeah. one that matters, boys. Get up in this boat. You know you want to. You know you want to. Three pounder. 
Let's go, baby. Let's go. That will do one more of those bites and we'll be right where we need to be. Holy cow. This lake has gotten fun. Okay. Twelve pounds and four. Bingo. Number four. Number four. Number four. Number four. Three, three. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get one more of them. Bam, baby. One more of them. We'll have us 15 pounds. Be right where we need to be going into tomorrow. Whew. Okay, okay. Little shaky Ned getting it done. Five pounder would be great. Five pounder put us at freaking 17 pounds. one I was looking for. Four pounder, baby. Let's go. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Number five. Sixteen three. Let's go, baby. Number five. Five in the box, boys. Gosh, that is awesome. Finally gonna crack me a bag on the invitations. We're gonna crack one again tomorrow and again the next day. Bam, baby, let's go. Let's cool out that stupid little spotted bass with another one of those and have us 18 plus and just be freaking rolling. one I needed. It's my biggest fish. Oh. Whew. That's a bag right there. Ooh. I'm shaking. Three goes. We got almost 19 pounds. That's a bag right there. That is a bag. Oh, that's great. Spotted bass. Adios, Mr. Spotted Dog. Nice knowing you. Oh, we got a bag now. What am I gonna do the rest of my day? Gosh dang. Do I just go ahead and catch a big old giant mega bag? Is that what I do? Oh, that is what I want to do. But at the same time, that's what I don't want to do. Oh, 
<sighs> Sargo nose down on it. She freaking slurped it. Gosh dang, that's what we want to see. There's a couple in here right now, man. It's a pretty good lake. Mike, can you hold that one up? Second. Yeah, just a second. Okay. Number four. Yep. One more. Hold it out just a little bit more to your body. Okay. Thank you, sir. Dang old big. This guy right here caught him, and I know Dad's watching. He's excited to weigh him in. Big Drew, Drew Gill from Mount Carmel, Illinois. Listen up, folks. Five fish for 19 pounds and 12 ounces for Drew Gill. Grab him out there, man. Great job, Drew. Young fisherman straight out of college. He's actually not even done with college. He is still in college. He's already qualified for the national championship. He's had three top 10 or top 11s, I should say top 11s, uh, already this year for, F uh, for Major League Fishing. And uh, he's had a great year so far. Invitation has been a little bit of a bumpy, but he is, uh, hey, showing out today. Let's see what you got here, Drew. Great job. Hey, first of all, let me just say I'm sorry for calling you out last night. I know you're going to give me a hard time off, but you were the tallest, as I told you, just what you get for being tall. But how exciting is this right here, man? Oh, it was a good day. It was a good day. Everything that I did went right. Um, all the bites that I got, I put in the boat. So. Hopefully we can go do it tomorrow. Left a few out there waiting on me, so I'm, I'm hoping it goes the way I think it can. All right, man. Good luck tomorrow. We'll see what happens. 